Hi guys, I'm Doug. And I'm Pat. Welcome back to the Doug and Pat Show. This is the reveal show for the blindfold test number two. Whew. Heavy business. We have to yeah. be clear about this though, that you have to be able, to, in order to have this make any sense to you, you have to have seen the first one. That's called the blindfold test number two. Yeah. We do five guitars. You can't see which guitars they are. One of them is the 1958 gold top with PAFs called Oscar. And one of them is a mid-80s Japanese Tokai guitar. Right. And then we've got a variety of things in the middle. So go back and watch that one. Uh, and then this show will make sense. Don't you think that the comments have just been fabulous? They are. And, and you know, I've been amazed at the, uh, the people that are writing in and giving us their comments on each pickup individually, why they liked them and why they didn't like it's, them. I know. It and is. They're, it's, they're, they're really listening. They are. You know, so. It are. It, it, it are. I are. Me, him, are. are. Yeah, that's the whole thing that this thing's been about, is yeah. about, it's like Joe Bonamassa said in that last show Who? that we did with him. Who? Is that, okay, the Italian guy. Right. Is you don't, you don't uh, hear it with your, with your eyes, you hear it with your ears. Right. And this is really what it's about. Don't you think that this show really is about, though, people finding the sound that they like? Sure. Sure. It's not, and, it's, it is called Finding Oscar, Where is Oscar? But it really is about finding their Oscar. Finding their Oscar. And, uh, you know, my Oscar might sound different than your Oscar. Yeah, yep. You know, so it's, yeah. Yeah, that opportunity is there. It's, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm stoked by the whole thing. Well, let's get on with it for guitar number one. All right. And guitar number one... The Heritage H150, 1994, with the Amber Spirit of 59s. Good sounding rig. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You play that pretty often, too, don't you? I do play it pretty often. And you've played it a long time. I have played and it a long time. Pretty well, I might add. Guitar number two. The 1985 Tokai Love Rock. Pretty good sounding guitar, you know, really. You no, know, it's a completely stock, off the shelf type guitar. There's nothing done to it or added to it. It's... No idea what the pickups are. Some people guessed on those. They might be Max and they might be Gotos. We don't know. I have no idea, but it, you know, it sounds good. And, you know, I hear something in, in those pickups that, that I really, really like. It's, so, it's a good sounding you know, guitar, so yeah. we're not going to blame you if you guess the Tokai. Please don't. No. Because I probably would have. And did, and from did. what I understand. And you know what? And, Anonymously and, on my Les Paul form, I think you, you weighed in on that, even though you knew what guitars they were. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Go figure, huh? I did. Guitar number three. It's a, that's a nice drum set. It is. Here's a picture is of it. Is that an old one? It's a 1963 Ludwig with original Ludwig sim, uh, uh, Zildjian cymbals. All right. All original hardware. Pretty cool. It's, it's cool looking. Pre-Ringo. It's Pre-Ringo. Yeah. Was his that same finish or his was a darker? Here's a picture of him playing one that is this finish, but uh, the one he played was uh, a black marine pearl or blue marine pearl. Or um, oyster pearl, actually. Oyster pearl. Yep, and he also had a twenty-inch kick most of the time to make him look bigger. What's this one? Twenty-two. All right. Well, back to the guitars, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. They're chomping at the bit here. They're saying, yes. "Wish these guys would get on with this." <coughs> Guitar number three. <laughs> Pat's R nine stock guitar. Not a thing different about it. 100% original. Not a cheap and, guitar. They're not no. inexpensive guitars, these R9s. No, nope. when I bought it in 95, <clears throat> it wasn't that expensive. You didn't but buy it in 95. I did. You did? I did. Wow. It, um, it hung in a store or something for a, about a year. And uh, How much was it listing for it? You know, I think, I think listed, you know, they were expensive in that back then. I think they were about five grand. 
but uh, it, like I say, it hung in a store in Seattle area for a while, and um, I talked nicely mm -hmm. and got a good deal. Mm -hmm. So I, I picked it up. And Were you wearing this coat when you I, negotiated it? No, had I been, yeah. I probably would have gotten you, it for a lot less. I don't think so. I think you would have had to pay a little bit more because this is a serious mm -hmm. contender coat. We'll, we'll talk about yes. this coat and the matching boots before this show is over, people. Okay. Next okay. one. And we only have two left. Guitar number four, which will also tell you what guitar number five is, is... Dale's R9 with the patent number Gibson humbucking pickups in them. That makes number five is Oscar. Wow. Big fun. I think that's really big fun. It is. It's fun that you, 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 mm -hmm. uh, you guys guessed and you possibly found your own Oscar in there. They're all good sounding. Man, I, you know, like I said before, I, I couldn't, I, I found something really good in every one of those pickups. Yep. You know, every one of those guitars. Every so, one of them. You know, you can, uh, like Mr. Bonamassa had alluded to, that you, uh, you know, you can get that combination. Fool around a little bit. You don't need to spend $200,000. Well, this is, kind of, this is kind of what we really were talking about in doing this show, which is if you liked guitar number four, well, that's too bad because the patent number pickups are kind of expensive, but it's a whole heck of a lot less than guitar number five. Oh, yeah. And if you like guitar number two, congratulations, because they can be had pretty cheap. So that's, it's, it's, it's very, very revealing. Or if you have like a guitar number one, the Heritage, yeah, already, and you don't want to go out and spend several thousand dollars on a different guitar and more, you know, whatever. Um, experiment a little bit with the pickups. If you find a set of pickups that you really like the sound of, you can make that guitar sound as good as it does. Yeah. Did those pickups in guitar number one on the Heritage make that guitar competitive with Oscar number five? It's like that's just kind of if that's the sound that you want. And, and identifying the sound that you want is the most important thing probably out of this show. Mm -hmm. Finding the sound that you want. Yep. Well, that was really, really great. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing in the near future here. Besides, we're going to go to the uh, NAM trade show in Los Angeles. We're going to leave next week. Hit the vintage guitar show uh, in L.A. down there. Right. We might be able to get over to the Italian guy's house for Nerdville and maybe take a look around there. Yeah, take some pictures. Um, mm -hmm. What we're kind of going to be doing in the future is we might not be... Um, doing a lot of shows because I know we don't really do a lot of shows anyway, but we might not be doing a lot of shows because we have other things going on. But are we, are we traveling somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Uh, yeah, we are. Where well, are you going? Well, I know where you're going. You're I'm going to the thrift store. I'm staying here to hold down the fort. Right, right. As I said in an earlier show, I'm going to be going to, uh, going to be in New Orleans, going to be in, uh, Spain, Barcelona, based out of Barcelona. And in London. Uh, so if anybody lives in those vicinities there in this time frame that I'm running underneath the screen, then let me know. Maybe we'll meet up, talk about guitars. Yeah. We've got some um, housekeeping to do on our website. So that's we're going to be using some time for that. That's mainly going to be the Chasing Oscar project. We're really behind on updating these pickups. We have other pickups we're going to add to it. We might even remix some of them. And we're going to add another thing on to it, which is going to be um, AC-10 clones. So you know a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a pretty fair amount of people, of have been talking about trying to clone that AC-10 that we use. Mm -hmm. And um, we are getting one from uh, Henry Amps. He has one called the SRT+. Plus, and we're going to be doing an in-depth uh, take, taking a look at that, swapping some tubes out, and the results of that will also post on the Chasing Oscar project. Is he from Northwest, from the states somewhere? I think he from might Europe? be in New Jersey. Oh, yeah, you can go to his website and check it out. He does have the combos uh, in there that he's making, and now he's going to make a head, and that's what we're going to be doing to be able to compare them with a variety of different speakers. There's also the uh, the guy, the Morris amplifier that was sent to us to evaluate. I think he's Canadian. And so we have a variety of other people um, that are going to be making the SRT clones. 
and we will be reviewing them if they send them to us, which so far they're interested in doing that, and compare them to the original. One quick thing. Hang on just a second. I'll be right back. On your extended travel trips, mm -hmm. which are many months, and how do you keep your fingers? You don't take a guitar with you. I, I can't. And so, how do you keep your fingers in shape? I know why. why we're, I know that. why we're doing this. I know you're going to get back at me I'm not, because I'm of not. that thing about the sport coat grilling thing. I know no, no, you're going to no, do no, it. No, okay. I'm just... That's a dilemma. So first, I thought about I would take along a guitar neck like a Stratocaster neck, because they come off, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, just have some strings on there and play it every day. But it wouldn't fit into my little suitcase because I carry a small suitcase. So I had a 59, a real 59 neck, that was broken many, many years ago when it was stolen. And I still have the neck. It's pretty, it's like broken in half. I sawed it off. And I put some string holders on it and turned it into my travel guitar. How about that? So the strings are actually up in the air, and I just pick it up, and I just go like this every day. Because sometimes if you're gone for a month and you don't do this, your fingers hurt. And do you find that that really helps? Is Absolutely. That really, as Absolutely. Opposed Last to... time I was gone, I was gone for six weeks. When I came back, my fingers were as every bit as good a shape as before that. And you also do this on... And what year was that neck? 1959. I think even bird's eyes in it, huh? It's it beautiful. It was nice. It was shattered, totally in half. Bummer, huh? So if you have a 59 Strat at home and you're going to go on a trip, um, just go ahead and cut the neck in two. No, no, send it and, to us. Oh, it needs to be done correctly, Pat. Well, send it to Doug and he'll cut it in half for you. And... Send the whole guitar because we want to make sure that it's a 59. And then um, I will send you back. A neck. Right. The nice enough. rosewood, too. Jeez. No. It's got the slab board on it. It does. Yeah. It does. Clay, clay dots. Quite a practice neck, eh? Yeah. Um, and before we leave, let's talk about our website, thedugandpatshow.com, where we do sell a fine variety of things for you to wear to look stylish. We're also looking to expand that which is some of the other things we're going to be doing in our time that we have coming up if we don't seem like we have a lot of shows out. You can get the uh, Doug and Pat Show t-shirts, uh, short sleeve, uh, small logo, large logo, long sleeve in small logo only. Sizes are medium through double XXL. And we also have the Doug and Pat Show hat we're going to be working on coffee mug because we do beverages here that would really be great people have asked that and i think we're going to try and get some stickers so that you can order stickers and put them on stuff all right and make doug and pat rich i don't know how that exactly would work but that would be something that they could do yeah mm -hmm. i'm for that i'm all for that and then i can buy more sport coats speaking of why don't we just take a quick look at what you're wearing right this minute well, this is my country western sport coat. It looks just like ostrich up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's where they get the emu oil. Oh, I was wondering what happened to the rest of the emu. Uh, ostrich. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's, a, that's one of the many coats that I have. And, you know, when you walk into a store, a thrift store, Secondhand store, and um, you, you see a coat and you like it, and you put it on, and it just fits. Perfect. How can huh? you not buy it you can't. if it's only? Well, if it looks like this. Well, if it's, you know. I guess the big question here would be so you have the coat and yes. you're looking pretty good, but what about uh, uh, the matching apparel, which would be, of course, well, the matching boots? I picked up a pair of cowboy boots oh my these, god these are them they're tony llamas those are expensive boots sir they are they are well but... it's got orange piping running down the side it does wow it so does. how much do you think a pair of boots like this would cost new 
New? New. I saw at the Portland Outdoor Store they had a, a pair similar to this, and they were these were four hundred dollars. But um, you know, you hit thrift stores at the right time. This one was <coughs> Senior Citizen Day, plus it was a Blue Tag Day. Mm -hmm. The Blue Tags half up. price. You have to go then. So the full price of these things after it was all said and done was three dollars and fifty cents. Bravo! <laughs> Unbelievable. More yeah. Pat thrifty shopping tips. Thanks so much for watching the show. Hope you had a good time. We had a good time. I did. And we will be back with amp demos and all the good stuff like that. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm Doug. And I'm Pat. See you next time. Bye. Bye.